where my dad was a pimp. And I don't want to say my mom was a prostitute, but she was trafficked. And then my aunties ran an escort service. A survivor of sex trafficking, Peyton is rebuilding her life. But dozens of other young women and girls are still trapped in the sex for money industry. Many of them are from the Duluth area. It will never be addressed adequately unless and until we have the courage to talk about it openly. That is exactly what the mayor hopes to achieve by declaring January Duluth Trafficking Awareness Month. Made up of representatives from the local community, law enforcement, and the courts, the Duluth Trafficking Task Force is seeking to end sex trafficking by reaching out to the women caught up in the trade. This is a victim-centered approach, victim advocacy driven, we are privileged to be a part of it, and we're going to continue to work our hearts out for justice in this area. Thank you very much. The St. Louis County Board voted unanimously to support providing resources to eliminate sex trafficking of women and children. Minnesota is ranked 13th in the United States for the sex trafficking. Native women are at particular risk. As members of the Duluth American Indian Commission and as Native men, we say it is time to break the silence around the trafficking of our women by standing up to the predators that destroy the lives of women. The program to aid victims of sexual assault is on the front lines of the battle to end sex trafficking. Last year, 39 people actually identified as being trafficking victims. That's out of 800, 900 overall clients we serve. Community leaders and task force members say even one victim is one too many. In Duluth, Katie Anderson for KBJR 6 and Range 11.